Hi, Dartmaster90 here, ready to show you my favorite DSLR photo mode. I like to use S mode, which can be found on your exposure dial right here. One easy twist, and we're ready to capture still images of fast objects. S mode stands for shutter priority mode. It uses automatic settings for the aperture while you have control of the shutter speed. The computer and the camera will focus on the aperture based on the light it detects. With high shutter speed, say, 1 over 400 seconds, you can catch brilliant moments caught in crisp, high-definition stills in the midst of action. Like in this photo of Jamie Shaw in the World Darts Championship. This was photographed by the fantastic Lawrence Lustig on January 1st of 2020. With low shutter speed with the aid of a tripod to keep steady, you can catch wonderful flowing movement called motion blur. Let's take a look at the photo of Jamie Shaw again with what would be a look with a low shutter speed, let's say one over 10 seconds. We have the flowing of the arm, the movement of his competitor, and the stillness of his breathing shown in this mode. I really like this photo by Ronald Cortez of Sam Houston's basketball player, Jaywan Anderson. Professionals have learned that to help capture the motion of the target, the photographer can pan their camera in the direction of the motion of the subject. It can lead to this really amazing motion effect. From darts to basketball, a shutter mode can be a staple of showing motion in sports photography. It's not just limited sports either. People can also use this shutter speed for flowing water or drifting lights. This photo by Dana Els really shows how smooth you can catch flowing water rippling by rocks or the lights of the city. I recommend the following book as it was my primary source for information. Understanding Photography by Sean T. McHugh. This is Dartmaster90. Signing off, I hope you can now shoot like a pro.